What up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be, you know, a day in lifestyle. I think that we can expect more day in the lifestyle videos as I close out prep. Um, you know, I'm over here about 25 minutes out from a live that I'm supposed to do on my Facebook group on training and nutrition. And it's like, my headspace really just like, isn't so much as creative high energy as it has been. So, you know, I just really just want to take you into the real, you know, raw, uncut, you know, what my life is looking like. Sitting 18 days out now. Um, Monday, was it Sunday night? Yeah, Sunday night, I literally got like three hours of sleep. And I've been sleeping very well throughout prep, but um, my hunger is what kept me up. My hunger was just so bad that my stomach just felt like it was just eating itself. And I was just tossing and turning in bed. And I literally came out here and I stood right there. I stood right there for like five minutes, just staring at my cinnamon toast crunch. And I was just like, you know, you need, like technically, dude, like you're so flat that you like you need it. You're gonna feel great tomorrow during just this session if you do it. And then I'm like, well, if you do it, you can't check off that that whiteboard right there. And then I was like, if you do it, you're letting Nick down. But then I was like, no, you're not letting Nick down. You're letting yourself down. And I was just like, yeah. Sunday night was a mental battle. And you know, to come all this way and be hitting my macros every single day since June 14th and. I can't have a fuck up like that 18 days out. This is not worth it. And a lot of lately has been this victim mentality and I'm owning up to that. And I'm saying, yo, like I'm over here complaining about prep. I'm over here complaining about my energy. I'm complaining about my sessions feeling like a shit. I'm, I'm complaining about me being hungry, but like, why am I playing this victim mentality if I fucking set this goal for myself and I set this standard for myself to fucking win and I'm over here complaining about that. And I had to have that talk with myself. And I sent check-ins to my six competitors that morning. And I was like, dude, what you just said to your competitors is what you need to fucking tell yourself. And that alone has put me back in this fiery fucking mindset. And I don't know, it was that Alkaline video with Justin and, and, and Alex where I was like fired up as fuck. I had to talk at the end of that video just talking about, hey, I want this shit more than anyone else. And I am back in that mindset. I'm gonna crush these last 18 days. I'm gonna give it all I fucking have and I'm gonna run the best fucking physique possible to that stage and win this goddamn show and there's no other option. And I'm holding myself that mentality. I'm not looking at other competitors. The hashtag summer shredding, I can look at the other competitors and scout. No, it's about me versus me. I know if I do my best, I'm gonna fucking win. So that's exactly what it is. We're sitting 18 days out. Um, I officially made the official flyer for summer shredding. Let's see if I can pull that up. and and you know do a little teaser for you guys and show you guys real quick um what that looks like so we have the official flyer for our clients um summer shredding classic meetup october 9th to the 11th um and then a couple you know photos of the airbnb just to kind of tease it a little bit um friday we're gonna do a team workout cook and hang out of the pool and a team dinner and awards so um 12 weeks, about 10 weeks ago, we hosted um, a, transform a 12 week transformation challenge. And so we're gonna be announcing the top three winners of that challenge and handing them checks at that team dinner Friday. Um, and that'll kind of be like my appearance to see everyone before stepping on stage Saturday for show day. Um, everyone's gonna do a team workout in the morning. Obviously I'm gonna be, you know, show day. So. I can't say anything about show day until you guys see show day. Um, then we're gonna have obviously, you know, step on stage and then have the after party where I'm just gonna freaking enjoy myself. Um, and then Sunday, we're gonna do an open breakfast, team workout, and then all day pool party. So we're gonna be hosting um, the after party for summer shredding and the next day pool party for summer shredding because I know that's what they usually do, but with bars and stuff and clothes and Corona and, and all that stuff, like I know that it's probably not gonna happen. So we're gonna host our own, which I'm very extremely excited for. So. Definitely a big investment, but you know, I'm focused on experience and I, I think that these next couple months of my life will be the greatest months of my life. Um, not only summer shredding, but I even have stuff planned that you guys don't even know about that afterwards uh, that I'm gonna be bringing and surprising you guys with. So definitely stay tuned, but I wanna say welcome to this day in the life vlog. Um, we're 18 days out. I get 250 grams of carbs today, so a little bit more carbs. Um, and then after that, I am bumping up to 45 minutes of cardio daily, 100 grams of carbs for the rest of the week. And that is going to be my final leg, my final push to see how much we can possibly get off myself. Um, and then we're gonna just start peeking, peeking right in about a week and a half out. So welcome to the video.
right, so pre-workout, guys, I'm going to be, you know, my most competitors right now are usually at like 500, 600 milligrams of caffeine a day. I really haven't pushed over 400 a day the entirety of prep, but for these last 18 days, I'm basically flushing out um, stimulants, you know, meaning that my caffeine intake is going to be at about 150 milligrams a day. Um, so really no coffee in the morning, you know, just like half a scoop of pre-workout. I'm using the Transparent Labs one because it has 180 milligrams of caffeine. So I'm just going to do half a scoop of this. I don't really need it. You know, like my energy is already low. This is really isn't going to do much for me anyways. So I'm just going to have a little bit of stimulants. And what this is going to do is actually, you know, not only flush out a little bit of water, but mainly actually help me with digestion because, you know, bowel movements are a little bit harder to come by when you're so low calorie. Um, and fiber is a little bit lower than what it's normally at as well. So, you know, taking out stimulants is going to help me um, with digestion. Um, it's also going to help me flush out water weight towards the end of this prep because really we want to deplete, deplete, deplete as much as we possibly can this week. So, you know, taking out little things like stimulants, taking out little things like, you know, foods you're, you're, you're sensitive to are going to go a long way for you at this point. Um, so, I'm going to put aminos um, in this water here that I'm going to sip on during the workout. And then I'm going to do the ghost pump, nitric oxide, half a scoop of this. And then I'm also going to do electrolytes, sodium, okay? Sodium, potassium, as you go low calorie, as you go low carb, you want to keep that up to make sure you're actually able to sweat, to make sure you're actually able to get a pump, to make sure you're actually able to perform function normally. Um, I don't need to take a potassium supplement because my potassium is pretty good. Um, magnesium I have been taking as well um, to help um, with the depletion, but let's do a sick edit today, dude. I'll see you at the gym in three, two. Yo, what is up guys? We're back with another cooking video. Why you may ask? Because you guys might be tired of just seeing shirtless, topless, shredded me. So we're gonna switch things up, right? So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how I make the burger salad, okay? So we got 96 four ground beef, it is back. I want you guys to go ahead and grab your favorite burger seasoning. Personally, I like to season my burgers with steak seasoning. This is the Montreal steak seasoning, absolute fuego, okay? Next thing you need is a whole bag of lettuce, right? You want a lot of lettuce and you want a bowl. Not just any bowl, this, this is a bowl. This is a bowl. Okay, you need one of these, all right? Because we want volume, okay? I want low carb, I wanna fill that thing all the way up to the top, and I wanna fill myself up, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the biggest bowl I can possibly find, and honestly, if you wanna do two bags of salad, why not be an animal? We got some fat-free cheddar cheese. I recommend if you guys can find, actually, it doesn't matter. If you can find cheese slices or fat-free shredded, it's gonna work, okay? We got some no sugar added ketchup. Guys, you're gonna save a lot of carbs by going this route. We have some fat-free mayo, an easy substitute right there. We have some mustard, which is zero calories, and we have pickles, which are zero calories. And we're gonna go ahead and start with the ground beef here. We're actually gonna, you know, you can either ground, ground it up and cook it that way, but I'm actually gonna make separate patties. Um, so that way I can kind of have more of a, a burger feel to the salad. So we're gonna start with the ground beef and I'm gonna show you guys the next steps from there. So while the burgers are on the, the pan right now, heating up, cooking up, I'm gonna go ahead and make the dressings or the sauce. So no matter where you go, if on the menu they say, oh, we have a special burger sauce, nine out of 10 times, it is literally just gonna be mayonnaise and ketchup and maybe a little bit of seasoning in there. So essentially, I'm just gonna mix these up. Essentially, I'm gonna do three servings of this, which comes out to around 45, 50 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out that right now. 
into a mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one serving of this fat-free mayonnaise, which is only 10 calories. One serving comes out to 16 grams. Right on point. Then we're gonna go ahead and whisk that up just like this until you don't see any of the, the mayonnaise chunks in there, right? Next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna grab your big ass bowl, okay? And you're gonna open up your salad. And here's the, here's the key to a good salad, okay? Not only do you need lettuce, but you just need to fill it up about a quarter of the way. Once you fill it up a quarter of the way, this is where you add in a little bit of the dressing because no one wants to get to the end of a salad and have it be bone dry, okay? So you're just gonna put, you know, just one tablespoon in there and then you're just gonna mix that, mix that in there. Um, and then you're gonna add in some mustard, which is zero calories. And this is a, just a good, this is a good serving of mustard right in there, just like that. We're gonna mix that up. Then we're gonna add our next layer of lettuce. lettuce. We're, gonna, we're gonna do about three good layers here, okay? So for the second layer though, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and add the ground beef. I don't wanna get through all the ground beef at the top of the salad. I wanna get it at the middle of the salad. So I'm gonna wait for that ground beef to finish up. I'm gonna put it in there and then I'm gonna do another layer of the condiments on top. Well, that's real nice. Quick hack, and this is why, you know, I recommend if you're going to do patties instead of ground, just grounding it up, um, you, should, you can actually get fat-free cheese slices to lay on top of here, but I actually don't have those and I couldn't find them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do one serving of the fat-free cheddar cheese um, just on top of the burgers right here. So that can go ahead and melt on the patties. All right, next step is once we have the burgers here, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out seven ounces of them. So um, I'm actually just not gonna plop the burgers in here, but I'm gonna cut them up into little bite-sized pieces and um, then weigh out seven ounces. You know, these, these came out absolutely incredible. Hell yeah. So bite-sized pieces here. Boom, perfect, seven ounces just like that. And then this is where we're gonna go ahead and put on the second layer here. So you wanna like basically split the dressing into thirds here. So the second third right there, and then we're gonna do a little bit of the mustard. Boom. And then we are going to do some pickles here. And these are the hamburger style sliced pickles that you would get on a, on a burger, right? And then we're just gonna we're just gonna shake that up to mix that up, and then we're gonna add in the final layer of lettuce right on top, and go ahead and top it off with the rest of the dressings and condiments. And some more pickles for good measure, yeah? We're just gonna mix that up. And just like that, my friend, you got yourself pretty much a burger. Not quite, but a very, very low carb variation, a very, very filling, voluminous meal. So that is the diet burger. We'll call it the Big Mac salad. Now, I can't believe I'm, uh, saying this, but um, in case you missed it, I just bagged the car from my phone, no big deal, um, airlift performance, 3P, manifold system, um, I'm getting rid of the Mustang, and it's weird to say that because like I said like this is my project car this is the first car I've built from the ground up um, I have a very very strong emotional connection with this car and always will there's nothing wrong with it she runs great 
She has 19,000 miles on her right now. She's on Rotiform KPS, 20 by 10. 20 by 10, Rotiform KPS, wrapped in Nitto NT55 G2 tires all around the board here. Um, GT500 conversion kit up front for the, for the front bumper. Um, under the hood, we do have a This is a 5 liter Coyote V8, uh, making it around stock numbers wise 465 horsepower and I believe 480 foot pounds of torque. Correct me if I'm wrong, but has a Roush intake and a Roush Stage 1 tune, um, which to the crank puts it over 500 horsepower. So she's, uh, she's definitely quick. She's definitely quick. She's a six speed manual transmission. Um, so if we look at the interior. I have a full carbon fiber dash kit. Um, leather seats that were actually swapped out by the previous owner, which are really nice. So they used to be a, a cloth interior seat, but he actually switched them out to this nice perforated leather from a 2016 Mustang GT Premium. So um, I do have the premium leather seats in there. Um, everything else is really pretty much um, base as far as the interior goes, besides the carbon fiber dash kit that I put in there. Um, Come around to the rear of the car. I do have the Euro spec tail lights. I do have an MP Concepts uh, badge delete rear plate here, as well as a street arrow um, rear valence diffuser and a Roush cat back exhaust, which you can hear already is is, is freaking loud. Um, in the trunk, my setup is just a pretty basic set, trunk setup uh, for the bags, but we are two, running two dual compressor vital air source compressors, and those are the nicest compressors you can possibly get. I spray painted the uh, tank black, and it's sitting on an Alcantara wrapped baseboard there. So it's a pretty simple trunk setup in general, so I can still use the trunk. Um, and then I have a GT350 spoiler. It is such a coincidence that that car is driving by right now, because that is the car that I literally owned right before this. Um, and then it has a GT350 spoiler there. And you might be wondering, like, why are you getting rid of this car as I'm looking at it? And I and I look at it every day, I'm just like, wow, like, I built that. Like, this angle right here, look at that angle. It's like, I, I built that, and um, it sucks, man. I, I put a lot of money in this car. You know, I picked it up with about 5,000 miles on it, one odor. Um, you know, it's perfect condition. There's never been anything wrong with the car. There's been no crashes. There's been no... You know, I've not had had it taken to service for anything. It's been super reliable. It's been a great daily driver, but I'm in a position to um, get a dream car. I'm in the position to get a dream car for sure. And as much as I, I love this car, I can't say that it's like my dream car. You know, I built it to a point to where I said, hey, this is like a dream build. You know, I love the fact that I can buy a car and build it to be my own. As a car enthusiast, that's what it's all about. You know, you see the potential in a car. You see what it's like, and you see, you see the potential. And I created this potential. And, um... The thing is, is I don't want to just strip it back to where it was stock and put on all those soft parts again and sell it to a dealership. I want to sell this to a fellow enthusiast. I want to sell this to someone that understands it. You know what I mean? Like understands, hey, it's on bags. You know what I mean? Understands, hey, these are Rotiform KPS wheels. Understands that this is a Roush exhaust and appreciates the fact that this car is built. It has a GT500 bumper on it, which is absolutely insane. And... I don't want to just list it right away and the reason i'm making this video is because like if if you're watching this video and you're interested in this car i would love for you to come out to houston hang out with me train together and and drive home with this car i i would love for that to happen and if i can have someone that's a, a follower and someone that's a subscriber and someone that's actually genuinely interested in this car buy it before i just post it online and sell it to a random person i'd much rather do that so this is my 2000 18 Mustang GT with 19,000 miles on it and it is uh, it is for sale so just comment down below email me um, do whatever you need to do but we're on to bigger and better things and it's crazy to think man this year is a lot a lot can happen in a year a lot can happen in a year but I'm actually gonna be getting a call this afternoon as far as inquiring about the car that I'm, I'm looking at but as disappointing as this is 
you won't be disappointed in the result. That's, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much for watching this video. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.